Just to she could ride me like a Harley I might tag team him, I'm a young Jeff Hardy Yeah, I might pull up to your party Keep a busy on me just in case he try to rob me Yo, what is going on everyone? So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to edit an insane highlights video in DaVinci Resolve for completely free. This will take no time at all and you'll learn a lot of things from this video. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get right on into it. So you're just going to want to open a new project here. Um, you're going to want to hit the gear down here. Now you're going to want to make sure it's at 60 FPS so it's not like really laggy and uh, just, just to make sure it's smoother then you want to hit save after you changed it now you want to hit control s um to save the project you may have to name the project if it isn't named already i already named it uh, test montage so um that's good now i like to do is i like to right click and create a new bin here maybe calls it used um that's what uh, just to make your uh, workflow a little better uh, easier so I'm just gonna drag in a random song. Uh, obviously, you can choose a song. Uh, let's just drag in a Jesse, um, uh, Barbie, whatever this thing is. Now, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna uh, want to find the point where uh, they, uh, uh, where the beat is. Alright, so right here it looks like that's beat, so you just want to uh, select it. Now hit M on your keyboard to add a marker, and you want to find the high clap after it. So that little clap after it, uh, right here it is. Just want to add M the marker. Now, um, now you have that laid out. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Looks like there's a beat right there. Um, and looks like there's a beat right there. I'll drag that like that. All right, and you want to always be saving the project because this tends to tends to a crash a lot. Um, all right, so. After that, I can drag it in the used. Now I want to drag in my clip here. Um, I'll just drag in uh, this clip for now. Um, this is an insane clip. And then double click on this. And then you just want to find the point where you want to start it. Um, so like, say I want to start it there, then you hit that. And then say you want to end it right here. And then you uh, cut it so then it's like that. Um, drag the audio track. Do that now um what i like to do is i to go to the marker now um, snapping, snapping all right so um i'm just gonna find the kill here uh, you know, sometimes it's a bit hard to uh, all right there i'll add a marker on the uh, thing now uh, i'll go back to here and then i'll just line them up and then you uh, just drag it out. Um, now, uh, I'll go ahead and drag in my next clip. I only have the whole thing synced, so I play it back. Alright, so it's obviously kind of plain so um, what you want to do is you want to add velocity to the clip so how you add velocity is um, I'll actually show you my old velocity when I used to edit on DaVinci now I don't edit on it anymore because it's uh, I edit on After Effects so you just want to hit Control R you just want to unlink it now uh, you want to go to the actual kill add a speed point by hitting this triangle add a speed point and then you want to go back to right when he pulls out his gun right there you want to add another speed point um, and then right when it goes vertical like that you want to add another speed point uh, change this one to 400 change that one to 50 change that one to 50 now you just want to drag it out like that You want to align it again, and then you can uh, 
line it, you can kind of drag it out like that. And you can adjust it accordingly. This is just uh, what I like uh, to do. Alright, alright. So uh, that's how you add uh, pretty simple velocity. Uh, once you get good at this, you can just kind of mess around with it yourself. Um, alright. I like to add SFX. I'll link all these presets down in the description below. So um, I'm just going to look up a simple, uh, just find a simple base wish. Uh, so I'll drag in uh, this and uh, base wish. So um, let me just drag in a base wish here. Um, you want to line it to, uh, where the high point is on the kill. And then I'll add a... Uh, uh, Alright, looks pretty sick. Um, doesn't look terrible, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to show you how to add like your impacts and buildups. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go over to uh, uh, effects tab and then you want to drag in an adjustment clip right here um, and then right here you can uh, adjust um, you want to split it here control B and then delete it um, uh, add I'll link uh, preset down in the description. For now, I will just uh, add just uh, an impact that I like. Um, so this is my uh, white impact, uh, and then that's how it looks. So it definitely lags when it's on DaVinci Resolve. So um, it's a really clean impact, though. Um, and then if I want to um, duplicate this, just hold Alt and then drag it out. Um, I change it, which I would probably I would recommend. If you're first starting out, you can use the same impact for everything. Um, so I'll just add like a clean blue impact. Um, just align it like that. No, it's just a blue glow. Uh, with a bit of a shake to it. It's nothing uh, super advanced, it's just kind of... It's just simple, clean, it's a nice highlight style. Alright, so I'll just fade it out. Um, Alright, so generally whenever you start a video you want to fade it out, so you just find this little point here, drag it out however long you want. I usually uh, sync them like that. Alright, and then um, if you want uh, you can add a build up. I recommend adding build up. Just drag in an adjustment clip. Uh, for this one, you go 40 frames back. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 40. Alright, so that's 40 frames back from the kill. So, then uh, I'll just come here, split it. Now, you just want to add a. I'll, I'll show you how to make my build up, my specific build up. Um, I'll drag in this. Um, this is just a. You're gonna need BCC, uh, not BCC, un Universe and uh, Sapphire plugins for this. Um, you can look them up. There's a lot of uh, cracks on YouTube for them. Um, you can find them. There's a lot of them. So once I connect them here, um, I want to go to my keyframes menu here, and then you want to uh, hit this arrow. Go like that make sure it's the same length like that and this is a bit of a vignette to be adding some of these buildups so you just drag and looks um, some of these I would e either use Sid or a uh, solo island in this case I think solo island is really good so you just hit check and then uh, keyframe it so if this red thing that means keyframe so you want to keyframe it at zero at the very beginning so keyframe it at zero and then you want to go maybe a little over than halfway and then you want to keyframe it at 100 so it's it's really laggy um, but it actually looks really good um, so that's it except for the transition made in a DaVinci Resolve so you just go to uh, video transitions there's a lot I like some of these uh, zoom in ones these are really good uh, slide right uh, rotate 
if you drag in a rotate, you can change the length with it like that. So, so if I uh, just disable this. They're really linear, so if you want to uh, make your own, I'll have a video coming out very soon about how to make your own uh, transitions in After Effects and DaVinci Resolve. So if I, I'll just show you a few of them. Zoom in, this is a really nice one. Yeah, zoom in is probably one of my favorite ones. So yeah, that's how you edit your own highlights video. I'll go ahead and render this and put it up on screen for you.